Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and in today's session we will see how to create a React.js component and then how to render, I mean how to use this component in React.js application. Okay, now let's me uh, move to the uh, practice React app that we are using in uh, this tutorial. Now I have to add a uh, folder inside the SRC. Click out this option, view folder, and give a name components. Okay, and inside the component, I will add two. Uh, uh, I mean, components: uh, header and footer. Right. Now let me add a new file. Give a name to the file like header dot jsx. Okay, and let me also add one another file, new file footer.jsx okay now let me first move to the header.jsx here i have to add a basic react.js function component so please keep in mind that we will use the react.js function components in this tutorial uh, i think you will be aware that there are basically two types of component the class components and the function components uh, in the latest development of React.js, um, all people, I mean all developers are using the React.js function components and that is why I will also use the React.js function components. So for creating a body of React.js function component, just type RFC, React function component and then press tab. Okay, so it will add a basic body of the React.js function component. And let's me move to the footer.jsx file and here I have to type react function component and then press tab and here is the basic code of the footer. So this is the basic react.js function component. Uh, we will uh, I mean uh, see uh, in detail in our coming videos uh, what is the function component, how it looks like, how to add the javascript code, how to render the html but the purpose of this video is only how to add a component and then how to render, I mean how to use ok, so let me save, save all now I will use these two components inside our app.js ok, now I will remove this code now let me add here a div. Sorry, I mean uh, I will type. Oh, it's not working. Div, and here I will use my header and footer component. Now in any website you know that there is a footer and then there is a body of the website and at the bottom there will be a footer. So keeping in this in mind I will just import the header component. So uh, let me type header and let me close this. Okay. Now here I, if I save the uh, and go to the browser here you can see an error header is not defined because I did not import the header component inside the app.js so to import the component just uh, type ndr and here an indication I mean the intelligence will show you the path of the component now click on this you can see that uh, the component is imported like in this way you can also import the component manually but it's a good way to uh, click on the italicis it will completely give the exact path and the component name now let me save again you can see that the header text is showing inside the top of our browser it's mean that we are using the header component inside our app.js component in a correct way now let me add here a review And it will be our body uh, web site body uh, for me the document and here I will also import the footer component so for importing the footer component you can see that intelligence is showing me the, the path of the component 
Now click on these. You can see that the footer component is supported. Now just close this component. Okay. Let me save and let me show you the result. Here you can see that our header and footer component is imported successfully. That is why the text from the uh, this text from the header and this text from the footer uh, is uh, uh, showing successfully. Now this is the basic way to import component inside other component. Let me show you one another thing. If I go to the header component and here we have a simple text. If I want to add a component inside the header, then I have to use the same rule like you uh, like I use for the app.js. For example, I add uh, I will uh, uh, let me add another component inside uh, the components folder new file uh, op header.jsx. Okay, let me add the basic body. Uh, it will be the top header. So I will import the top header inside the header component. Okay. Uh, here I will add format document top header. This one, and I will close the tag. Format the document. Control S. Now go to the browser. Here you can see that the top header component that we imported inside the head, inside the header component its stack is showing successfully so you can divide your whole site uh, in different component in the case like in this way and it is the best practice to use uh, to create and uh, use the components uh, you have to create reusable components so that you can use in every place i mean in many places inside the application so that uh, was a basic about how to create and render a React.js uh, component. Uh, that was the end of this video. From our next video, uh, we will, uh, I mean, touch a new topic of the React.js. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.